Pheasants, Yellow Fibre here and welcome to a tractor review. Today um, I'm going to be, well, not reviewing one tractor, that's for sure. Re reviewing four tractors by Case IH, um, which is what, well, it is my favourite brand in the game, um, especially the new Optum. I love that tractor. But anyway, we'll start here with the Puma. Um, this is the Puma 240 CVX, um, good all-round tractor, um, has a front loader block, so you can put front loader on it, um, yeah, uh, has comes with rear weights, well, optional rear weights, and, yeah, um, a very, very nice tractor, 240 horsepower, um, comes with a front PTO and a front hitch. This tractor would be good for um, grain carting, maybe ploughing with a small plough, or I'd say cultivating as well. I wouldn't use it um, for big, big tasks like um, big. Well, so I wouldn't use it on like a 16 furrow plough, for example. That'd be for a quad track. But yeah, this tractor very, very nice. The uh, well comes with AdBlue, so um, sort of an organic fuel. And comes with it. obviously you can put diesel in it, but yeah, um, very very nice tractor with a lot of spool valves. Anyway, we'll hop inside. So inside you can see we have um, the PTO switch. For example, we'll start on the PTO switch and then PTO control speed. This tractor, um, as I said, was is very good for those field sort of works as it has a CVT which is, was it CVT or is it CVX? Oh it's a CVX but it's, CVT is controlled variable transmission I believe but I'm not too sure on CVX but I believe it's the way the gearbox works um, so in this uh, you've got you can just see that behind that joystick is the foot hand throttle so powering up, powering down by using the foot throttle. You also then have the uh, joystick which can do a lot of up, up down gears. Most of these trailers have it so I'll explain it in detail here. So up and down gears uh, you push that joystick forward to go forward and slow down to pull it back. You go up a gear and uh, down a gear. You also have low ratio, high ratio. So you get the gist. Yeah so then you have, if I turn the wheel a bit you have Behind there you've got the shuttle, um, so control forward and backwards. Um, then you've got the diff, I believe there's a dip lock, clutch, brake and accelerator. So pretty standard, most tracks have that these days. But yeah, um, I do do I do very like this tractor. Um, I would love to own one in real life, but unfortunately I don't have the money for it. And yeah, um, you obviously got your uh, different control for the tractor, very simple to use, that's what I like about this tractor, very simple to use. So yeah, we'll move on, oh actually we won't move on, we will listen to what she sounds like. So yeah, the Puma's always had a good exhaust sound. We'll just quickly take it, for. A, this is my test strip, up and down. So top speed about 32 mile an hour. Um, very nice tractor to drive. Brakes are good. You can hold 329 litres of fuel. We'll take her back. The we'll parker in here, actually. The we'll parker in here. And we will walk up to. Or we will tab to the Case IH quad track. Very nice tractor. As you can tell, sounds very nice as well. Anyway, but we'll let we will listen to it later. Right inside, uh, as you can see, very similar to the Puma um, in the way that I believe it might must be a CVX, an AFS. Must be a new. I, I don't know much on that. On that, so I will not go into detail on it. But pretty similar to the Puma, um, the way it works. Then you got the shell behind, forward and back. On this, 
because it's tracked. Well, because it's a tracked vehicle, most people think a tracked vehicle is like a two joysticks to control its track, but it's steering wheel, uh, just like the Challenger. So uh, it's articulated. So if I turn that way, you get the joystick can turn that way. So it's basically like, well, similar to like Arctic lorry sort of way it turns. Well, Arctic lorry is not articulated, but that's could be the trailer. You know what I mean? So. Yep, heads-up display, so GPS, um, so you can you can just leave it and you can just sit in the tractor and do what you want, twiddle your thumb, to twiddle your thumbs. Yeah, so we will take it down for a drive, but before actually we do that, we'll have a look at the outside. So you've got your PTO, um, as, well obviously standard PTO, uh, drawbar, link arms, spools, drivetrain, I believe that's the drivetrain. Get your hydraulics are going to the cab to control the back. 620 horsepower. Um, no front weight. Um, I believe you can get front weights. Not in this game, but in real life you get front weights for it. But they are fixed. So yeah, let's check the lighting out. I haven't done this in the Puma, but it would be pretty similar to the Optum. Because it's the replacement to the Puma. I believe. So yeah. Got a nice light bar at the front. Good visibility. Side lights, rear lights, for working. So yeah, very impressed with this. Um, we'll look at the strobes. Pretty standard. <laughs> nice look at them. Right, we'll take it for a little drive. Oh, and by the way, that screen on the pillar there is engine management. So, as you can see, it's articulated. So, there. Very, very nice. Um... But yeah, I would, well, it would be a dream to drive one of these in real life, articulated tractors. Mainly in America, if you live in England where I live, it's mainly Lincolnshire area where it have these sort of tractors. But yeah, it can hold 1,873 litres as shown, and a top speed of 26 mile an hour. Let's move to the Magnum CVX. Let's get out and have a look. So, here we have the Magnum. Um, it should, I believe, I think you get a 380, but yeah, we have a 340 CVX. Yep, I do like the Mag Magnum. I have not driven one in real life, but I've sat in one. So, you get the front PTA. Uh, on this tractor, I wouldn't know what you would really use you'd probably put you wouldn't really mm, I guess you could mow with this tractor put a big mower on it butterfly mowers or something toolbox there suspension um, well, actually got your ad blue again you've got a rear track for extra uh, surface area so you get more surface area you've got more grip so the rear end's got more grip you got your link arms you got your you, know, you name it top link etc right Let's jump in. So inside, as you can, pretty similar to the Puma, which is a little bit bigger. Um, pretty similar to the quad track as well. So you've got your cab heaters, etc. You've got your PTO switch, which is the yellow one. You then have your, as I said, push forward to go forward, back to go back. Simple. Then you've got your engine control. And then you've got your spool valves and switches there. Heads up display is a GPS. On the top of the roof is the GPS thing. Um, then your engine management, um, your shuttle box there. Um, sorry for this, it's had an itch. <laughs> yeah, you've got your uh, shuttle box behind. Uh, then you've got your accelerator, brake, and clutch. Um, on the older models, obviously, like 1990s, you wouldn't have any GPS, you'd just have your you'd be manual gearbox. So if you look at the case, which I haven't put in this, the 1455. I believe it's the 1455, um, is the model with a manual gearbox, um, not automatic, just manual. So yeah, let's uh, start it up and take it to, well, park it up where the other case tractors are. Um, but yeah, one of my favourite tractors, I have sat in one of these in real life, not been driven, not got to drive it yet. Well, we haven't got one, well. 
I haven't. I don't know someone that has one. Oh, by the way, that that bar there is the bar for putting. Say, if you had a, a different tool on the back, you would put uh, the screen, the screens on there. So you you know, if you had a horse drill or something, you'd put the screen there to control it. So that's the tractor screen, and you'd add additional screens for each implement. Anyway, let's drive it and see what the top speed was. Top speed is 32 mile an hour, and we will see how fast she goes. So yeah, very nice tractor. So yeah, as you can see, very nice. One thing to add on the back of this tractor, you've got you've got the remote control spool valves for um, controlling implements on the back when you're not in cab, sort of thing. Now we let me tab through my various of test vehicles. We move to the last tractor, which is the Optum CVX. My favourite, one of my well is my favourite case tractor. Um, as you can tell by the lights, look awesome on it. So yeah. On the front, yeah, again from PTO, uh, front hitch as standard. Then you have the rear PTO, link arms, top link, and then you've got those rear buttons to control. So you could you stand here in real life and you would press those buttons up and down. That's a PTO button there, that yellow one. Um, so yeah, um, all round good tractor. Lighting is very good on this. I have got a video. I do have a video of one of these plowing in real life. So if you would want, um, a video on of one of these I'll put it on but yeah it's not a very long book video um, but I'll definitely put it on if you get if you guys want me to put it on but yeah I'll, and also add blue it has 300 horsepower and I believe they've put they have this tractor to replace the Puma let's get inside uh, yeah uh, as I said before the joystick you got the gist of it for and about to go backwards well, I hope you've ended this video. You've learned a lot about case tractors. Um, yeah, so on these newer models, to start, put your foot on the clutch. But on the farmer simulator, you don't. <laughs> you don't need to because it's farmer simulator. There, you've got your shuttle box behind. Your diff. I believe that is diff. Correct me if it's wrong. That is diff. That far left. Then you've got the clutch. Then the brake. The one between the brake is, I believe, to lift the steering column up and down. Then you have the throttle. Then you get your hand throttle to control to control your speeds. So as you can see, inside is pretty similar to Puma, the layout and the Magnum, sort of in between. Um, I'm not too sure if they're replacing this with, well, replacing the Puma with this. I'm not too sure. I'll have to get back to you. Case red seat, so you can, it actually costs money to get a red seat, leather seat. I'm not sure if that is leather. It does look quite. I'm not sure. And, uh, and the new tractors have to have seat belts now. They used to not have seat belts, but they do now for some reason. Have a safety. Get your radio, you've got your lights, that controls your light panel there, your speakers. See that little uh, tractor icon? That is the lights, so front light, working lights, strobes, name it. So, as you can tell, it looks like a mean machine. Your strobes. And then turn the lights off. Let's start it up and park it with the others. As you can see, top speed of 32 mile an hour. And yeah, so if I park it next to the Puma, you'll see the diff. You're up. Well, you won't see. I mean, like the looks don't look the same, but it is designed. Well, I do believe that is the replacement. So you can see the side. You can see the side. Dif the size difference. Sorry, well, just a little bit bigger because I believe that's the biggest size of Puma you can get. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that is the case tractor review. I haven't put the 1455 in because it's um, well. I could give you some information now. I guess. I'm not too sure on the engine requirement on well engine power on the 4055. We have a look as we go here. So where is the 14? She better start, won't she? Uh, there she is. 
1455. That right, that's just sorry for this. That is just tab into it and have a look. So here is the 1455. Forgot to add it in. Um, but yeah, let's have a look on the outside. These are sort of a 1990s age sort of tractor. Um, I will be doing a combine video soon, um, so I'll be glad to tell you different, like different case combines, etc. Because Case and New Holland are the same company now, um, so they're pretty much similar. So and so are Adco. But well, I can't the same company, but Adco have Challenger, Fent, um, Massey, and Vultra. And I have another brand, but I forgot their name. So he in the older tractors you've got the adjustable link arms for height, not on the computer. So inside the computer doesn't control it, it's all do it by hand. There's no see, there's no rear spools. Um I believe that lever does control the oh I'm not too sure. It does control something, but I'm not I'll have to get back to you on that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, um very nice tractor. No ad blue because it's old. Front weight, um single weight. So there's, there's no linkage, it's just a fixed weight. But yeah, um, very good all one well starting off tractor because you start off in the game. Let's look inside. Uh, as you see a big difference with the other tractors. Um, you've got your just there, if you see you've got that uh, little lever that is the lever that controls the link arm. So up and down. Um, and there's window there to see it because obviously this tractor is a different shaped cab to the newer ones, not as good visibility. You've got a big pillar there, so when you're in the road, you've got to obviously move your head to look around because there's pillars, and then you're not crashing into a car. But yeah, then you've got you've got your uh, so you go you've got your different levels of how to lower it. Um, so yeah, now you've got your high and low. So that gear stick just closes the door. I believe it's high and low ratio. Um, so low range and high range for different field work. Low range, obviously, slow speed, high range, high speed. Then you've got your gearbox. Yeah, well, not gearbox, you get stick. <laughs> so you've got your gears. So your gears um, in this aren't automatic. So you don't have automatic gears at all. So you have to do it all by hand. Uh, so obviously change gear unless you put the clutch down like in a car on the far left, push it down into gear. Um, and to change ratio, you obviously push clutch down and gear as well. Then you have to brake, which um, is pretty simple. It's a brake. Then your foot throttle. You don't have a hand throttle. When, uh, I correct myself. You do have a hand throttle. Behind the steering wheel, that little bar pulled down to go faster, push up to go slower. Um, in the newer tractors, it's just a little slide on the side. But in these tractors, it's more of a older thing. I'm not too sure. I think that's the handbrake over that little lever. But I'm not too sure, so I won't go into detail. You've got your indicators. You ha I believe there's a switch on there to do half gears, so if you're on a gear and you don't want to change, well if you're in the highest gear, you can press, well any gear, you press to go up a gear without changing gear, if you know what I mean, so you just flick one of those buttons and it'll go up a gear for you, so that's, back in the day, that was a modern feature. you got your radio, your aircon, etc, so not a boy with that, let's take it down to those other case tractors and we'll see the difference. But yeah, obviously a lot more louder because the, the engine size isn't, well, the engine size isn't the biggest, but because of the old design, it's a lot louder and less quieter. So you don't have a quiet cab, for example, like in the new tractors, it's very old style. But yeah, um, it is a very good tractor. I mean, you could still, the, these days you'd use it for a mowing tractor. You can put a front loader on it, I believe, so, so you can do a lot with it. Um, it's just um, that the newer tractors obviously have got more power and they can split power and they can a lot more <laughs> economical and yeah so we'll just drive it and we'll, you'll see the difference agriculture has changed so I believe this tractor is well obviously not too in the 2000s era um, so these tractors here these case ones that I showed you earlier 
are obviously the modern tractors. And you can see the difference in <laughs> looks and styling a lot different. So at the end of the day, quite a lot of farmers, they still use these sort of tractors, but these tractors are the ones you'll see on the roads. Obviously you won't see that or that much, but you'll see a Puma, and Optums are obviously more popular over time. But that in real life costs around 400,000, that would be around 280,000, 300,000. Puma, 180,000, 200,000. And Optum, the new Optum I believe is around nearly 300,000 pounds. But that's because it's new, it'll go down in price like the Quad Track did, because the Quad Track was 600,000 pounds, but it's gone down in price since. But the rival to this would be a John Deere non RX. Obviously, Giants don't have a John John Deere, so not going to see one. Uh, the John Deere and the T9 are pretty much the rivals for this. There isn't much more except if you've got a big Russian piece of metal that's bolted together, and uh, like an Ursus or something, which they're pretty tank. Or the biggest tractor in the world called Big Bud, which has is huge and it can pull a I think it's a 48 furrow plow. But that's not limiting the game. I could get it as a mod, but it probably crashed the game because it's basically the size of the Starship Enterprise. Anyway, uh, that will conclude for today's video. Um, I will do uh, my next video will be a New Holland uh, review, um, which are the same company but different colours. <laughs> for tractor geeks out there, they are the same company, but for people that don't know much, such as someone that's just been elected in America. Um, then, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to say what you want, and that will conclude today's episode. Bye for now.